Today, in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the beta version of Code Snippets Cloud, a central location in which you can store all of your code snippets and also share those with other users and access other users' code snippets to use inside your WordPress websites. A great location to grab everything you may need. So let's take a quick look at this. I've already gone ahead and set up my account. It's totally free at this point in time. That may change in the future, I don't know. But once you've done that, all you need to do is simply go ahead and log in. I'll log in with my credentials. And then this takes us into the code snippets dashboard. Now, I haven't set anything up inside you. I have literally just created an account. So I'm gonna walk through how you set things up and how you interact with the platform. So first of all, we need to create an actual code vault. Now a code vault is your specific location where all of your snippets reside. So let's go ahead and do that first. You can see no code vault has been set up. Please click here to create one. Okay, so let's go ahead. Let's create my code vault. Let's click. So this is where we've got our profile information. So the only thing we need to do is select a name for our code vault. You can set this up to whatever you want, but make it something that makes sense to you. In my example, I'm going to use WPTAT-snippets just to keep it simple. But once you've done this, this is going to be exactly what you're going to use for your code vault. So use something sensible. Let's go ahead, click Save. And now we've created our code vault. So now we can go back and take a look at things. Let's come over into my snippets. Inside here, we can go ahead, create a new snippet. We can view that quick start guide again. We can go and take a look at my code vault. And you can see we've also got different sections underneath for public snippets, private snippets, snippets that are under review and any blocked snippets. Before we go any further, let me quickly say about the under review. Now this is where any snippet that you or anybody else submits to the cloud for code snippets is going to be verified to make sure it doesn't contain any malicious code or it just doesn't work. So once you submit something, you have to be a little bit patient. That's gonna go for some kind of manual review and providing everything is fine, that'll be then submitted and also approved and added to your account. And if you set it up to share, you can have those as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at my code vault. You can see my code vault is currently empty because I haven't actually added anything. So let's go ahead and add something. Let's go ahead and click on the plus at the top. And this is where we can go ahead and create our first snippet. For this example, let's create a code snippet to change the add to cart button in WooCommerce. Something that's very common and also not the easiest thing to do without a little snippet of code. So first of all, let's give this a name. So we're going to just put WC at the beginning so I know this is for WooCommerce. I'm going to give it a name. So the change add to cart button text on the archive page. You can see this will then automatically create a slug at which point you're probably going to want to make something a little bit more in keeping with exactly what this does. So we're just going to change this to WooCommerce button text archive page. Snippet category, we can click and open this up and you can see we've got a range of different locations that we can place this. So for this example, it's a WooCommerce update. So we'll drop that inside there. We'll give this a very quick description. There we go. And then finally, any instructions. And underneath that, we've got a YouTube video URL. So if you've created a video for this or you've pulled this information from a video, you can drop a link inside there. Again, this is useful for yourself. And if you make it publicly shareable, it can be very, very useful for people to see exactly how to use it. I don't have one, so I'm going to leave that as it is. And then you can choose where you actually want to drop this inside code snippets, whether it's JavaScript, PHP, CSS, or HTML. For this example, it's a PHP WordPress function, so we're going to drop that inside there. So what I'm going to do now is drop my code in the code box underneath, leaving everything else inside there. So we're going to just paste and drop that inside there. Make sure you don't remove those first two lines because that could cause problems. So make sure you've got everything set up the way you want. If you want to make this public, you can go ahead and leave the public option but if you want to make it private, just simply go ahead and change that. Now, this is one of the things that I would personally like to see the public be in the option as opposed to be in the default. So when I create code snippets, I'd like them to be just my code snippets. It's easy to forget to make it private. So maybe make that an option that's not automatically selected. So once we've done that, you can then see we go ahead and say, save the snippet. That now pulls our snippet in. You can see on the left-hand side, there's all the information about this actual snippet. We can then go ahead and if we were using someone else's or someone is using ours, they can be upvoted or downvoted. You can also go ahead and copy this code directly from here to use inside code snippets in your website. And if you want to, if you find something is problematic about this, it's not working, or maybe things have changed since the code snippet was actually created, you may want to report this to let people know there's a problem with it, which could be very useful. 
You can also go ahead and leave comments underneath. So if you were using someone else's code snippets, you may want to leave a little note there to say if it's good, bad, any problems you may have found with it, anything like that whatsoever. It can be very useful as the community grows to give feedback on snippets that work or maybe need a little bit of fleshing out instruction wise. So pretty useful to see all that. So now if we go back to my snippets, you'll see it still has no snippets available because this is currently waiting to be approved. So if we scroll down, you can see there's my private snippet. So we can see that it's there. We can see what type it is, the title. We can go ahead, click go, we can edit it and we can delete it if we want to. You can see underneath then you've got code snippets under review. So it's very, very easy to use. So now we can go ahead and if we want to, we can click on go. That'll take us back into that snippet itself. We can come back out of there. We can click on the edit option. So now we can come in and make changes to this if we wanted to. So if we want to make it public, we can just check that option, come back down, say save the snippet, and that's now become public. And as you can see, this is again under review just to make sure everything is working correctly and everything is set up and no problems have been found. So again, you can see we've got one snippet is now under review and no private snippets. So pretty cool. We've seen exactly how to set all this up. Okay, so now that we've created a snippet, we're waiting for approval and so on, let's go ahead and click on the search option. And this now will show us the different categories we've seen when we created our snippet. And we can now go ahead and either search for a specific kind of snippet. So we'll just say cart, for example. So there's nothing inside there. We can say WooCommerce. And you can see if we do that, we now get all the WooCommerce ones. We can see who created it, the name of it. We can click on go, the type. So you can see there's already a few options inside here. If we click on go, you'll see this takes us over now into what we see when we created our code snippet. So on the left hand side, you can see it's public. You can see the number, you can see the title, how to use it, where it comes from and any modification history inside there. If you want to, you can simply just come in and say WordPress admin and inside there you can see any of the different code snippets that have been added. And again, you can choose what you want from here to use them. So disable the WordPress admin bar, change the admin footer text, you can click on go. And you see there's the code snippet. We can copy that from there and then we can just paste that into our site. So it's relatively simple and straightforward to use. So let me just quickly sum up my thoughts and feelings after testing this for a relatively short amount of time. I think the concept is very useful. I think it's a great way of being able to easily store your own code snippets to share them if you want to or keep them private, but also to get access to other people's code snippets because there's lots of times you're going to have little snippets of code that don't require a plugin. And this is just an easy way of finding them without digging through multiple websites. Which leads me on to what I would like to see. And hopefully this will be one of those things that they're going to look at either in the pro version, if there's one of those coming, or maybe something that once the beta testing has been completed, is something they want to look at. And that is a link between the plugin, the websites and the actual code snippets cloud platform. What I would love to see is a link between everything. In other words, if you're in the code snippets cloud platform, you can connect up via the plugin to any site or sites that are using the plugin. And then you can push your code snippets or any shared code snippets from the cloud platform straight to the plugin on that site. I think that would be super useful. Alternatively, it'd be nice to see the opposite way around. So if you're on the website and you've got Code Snippets plugin installed, you connect that up to your cloud account, and then you can access your private snippets and also any of those public snippets, and then pull them straight down into the plugin with no copying and pasting and to and fro and back and forth. Not that it's particularly complex, but if you're doing this, say, five or ten times, it could become just a little bit laborious. So it'd be nice to see a much more streamlined, quicker way of being able to integrate the cloud platform and the plugin together. I'd love to see that. And maybe even take it one step further that when you're inside your actual plugin and you add the code snippet there, you could submit that to your cloud account in the same kind of way. And then maybe open up the cloud account with the code already copied in there. A name and information you've given inside the plugin would automatically populate the snippet inside the cloud platform. All these little things would add quality of life to what is already an interesting platform and alternative. Secondly, and this is a very subjective point of view, I'm not the biggest fan of the design that's being used inside the code snippets website and also the cloud platform. To me, it just looks a little bit amateur and isn't necessarily set in high enough expectations for what you can expect from the platform itself. So I'd love to see more design being placed into this to give a more professional look and feel. If we take a quick look at the landing page for cloud, you can see 
it doesn't necessarily look the cleanest, most professional design. When you take a look at some other tools that are out there, this looks a little dated. So I think a little bit of time and effort could be spent to bring this up to speed with what modern web designers are looking for. Now we know Code Snippets, the plugin, is already highly regarded. So this is to take nothing away from the tool at all, or the cloud platform. But I think it would add a little bit more credibility to it if it just looked a little bit more polished. But like I say, that's totally subjective and that's just my opinion. You may differ, you may absolutely love it. So that's fine. As always though, let me know your thoughts on this. Do you already use Code Snippets, maybe the pro version? Are you interested in this cloud platform? Are you going to test it or are you already testing it? Let me know in the comment section down below. As always, all applicable links are in the description. My name is Paul C. This is WP Tetson. Until next time, take care.